Hey guys, Spartan Jess here, and today I'll be reviewing yet another Halo Airsoft kit created by Foundry Airsoft, the Halo Magnum Kit, made for the Glock Pistol series. For those of you that don't know, Foundry Airsoft has been making these Magnum kits for a long time now, and ever since, they've always gained a good amount of positive feedback from the Airsoft community. So without further ado, let's get into this review. All right, now let's get into assembling our Magnum kit provided by Foundry Airsoft. Now when purchasing this kit, you usually have the options to purchase the Halo 3, the Halo 2, or the Halo ODST Magnum kit. So before we get into assembling which version you want, we're gonna get the main body onto the Glock first. Now the Glock that I'm using is an Elite Force Gen 3 Glock 17. So whenever you're purchasing one of these kits from Foundry Airsoft, you'll have the option between the Glock 17, 18, or 19. Now that's important to know which Glock that you're using so you can have the right kit that'll fit on top of your Airsoft Glock. One thing I do want to point out is the fact that for an Elite Force Glock, on the bottom magazine plate, you're going to have to file or sand down the side edges. You can see I sanded it a little bit and I don't want to take the effort to take this thing off the magazine because it's it's pretty tight on there. <laughs> so just for you Elite Force Glock users, make sure you sand down these little magazine base plates on the sides and a little bit at the bottom as well. First step that we're going to do is take off the top slide of your Glock by pulling these pins down, pulling back and pushing a little bit forward just like that. Now the main reason why we're doing this is so we could take off these top sights. Reason being is your Magnum kit is not going to fit or stay onto the top slide of your Glock because the sights are in the way. So what we're going to have to do is remove your tension spring, remove your barrel, and there you have access to your sight screws right here and right here. And that is how you take the top sights off of your Glock. Now in some versions, it might be a little harder than that. I've heard that some of them put super glue on the sights, while others are just super tough to get off because of the tension inside of the Glock. But for my Elite Force version, it was pretty good. Now that we have the sights off, we're gonna be attaching the back part of your Magnum kit first. Now the way this is gonna attach is by the bolt that's assembled with it. This is one of the most unique bolts that come with the kit, and it's usually attached to this back part. What you're gonna do is put your Glock slide into the Magnum slide, you look for the hole, put your bolt in there, and take your hex key that's provided by Foundry Airsoft and screw it in. Make sure you have your nut on the other side. Use something to hold the nut while on the other side, you're screwing in your bolt. Make sure it's tight enough to where the top slide of the Glock and the Magnum slide feel like it's all one piece. After you have the Magnum slide attached, make sure to put your barrel and your tension spring back inside the Glock. And that's how you attach your slide back onto the Glock. Make sure you rack it back a couple times to make sure that you know it's on there really good. So our next step is gonna be attaching the front part of our Magnum onto our Glock. So now that we took off the top sights, this will slide on very nice and easy, just like that. And once you have it right there, you're gonna take the biggest bolt that's with the kit, slide it in here. Make sure you have the nut that goes with this bolt. Hold it with your thumb, screw the bolt in from the other side. Make sure you have it nice and tight. Now the way this is attaching is by the bottom rail of the Glock itself, and that's how the front of your Magnum is gonna be attaching to your Glock. Now that we have the front part assembled, we're gonna be attaching our trigger guard. Now the way we're gonna be doing this is taking the two bolts that are fitted for these holes, screw them in just so you have a placement for them. Make sure you don't knock off this metal plate. Now that we have those two bolts in, we're gonna take our finger guard and place them right above your bolts. Once you have your trigger guard attached to the bolts, make sure you matching nuts for the bolts, hold the nut with your finger and take your hex key or your drill, tighten it on there. And that's how you attach your finger guard onto your Magnum kit. And now we're gonna be moving on to the part where you get to select which Halo Magnum you want. So basically you'll be going through the Halo 2, the Halo 3, or the ODST variant. And it's super simple and quite easy. You take whichever part you want. Let's go with the Halo 2 variant first. And you just slap it on top, just like that. And what's gonna be holding that are just two bolts on the top. And this is what the Halo 2 version of the Magnum looks like, with the magazine base plate on the magazine itself and the top part attached with a front sight. Let's do the Halo Reach, Halo 3, or Halo CE variant. Now with this variant, you don't really have a top sight per se. What's really neat is you have this little hole right here which you can aim down in between these two crosshairs. 
and this is what the SOCOM ODST Magnum looks like. And that's how you assemble the Magnum kit made by Foundry Airsoft for the Glock Pistol series. Let's go see some gameplay footage of this and when we come back I'll give you my initial thoughts and my personal opinions about what I think about this kit. about this Magnum kit made by Foundry Airsoft. I love how it's designed, I love the simplicity of assembling the Magnum kit onto the Glock, and I love the modularity between three different variants, the Halo 2, the Halo 3, and the Halo ODST variant. I love how it's super simple to switch between the three just by two bolts on the top, and nothing else that's super dramatic. When I got the Magnum kit in the box, it was all wrapped up really nicely in plastic and bubble wrap to make sure that it was safe from any kind of damage or weather conditions that could have harmed the package. All the nuts and bolts are all part of this package, and it also gives you extra parts just in case you need them. And you're also provided with the necessary hex keys that's required to screw these bolts in. One thing to be careful about this Magnum kit is the fact that the bottom part of your finger guards aren't completely stable or attached to the bottom pistol grip of your Glock. So this can be a little wobbly and flimsy down here. So just be careful whenever you're wielding this out of your holster. And one thing you'll have to keep in mind is that the base plates for the magazines only fit on green gas magazines. Now also you'll have to keep in mind what kind of Glock that you're going to be using for this Magnum kit. Uh, make sure to check Foundry Airsoft's item description on his Etsy page or on his website. The additional rail with more grooves at the bottom is added onto the Magnum and makes it easy to put on attachments like lasers or flashlights. For instance, I have this NC Star double laser that I attached onto my Magnum during the time I did gameplay with it. And further to improve that point with the ODST variant, your rail length gets even longer. I also like how on the top slide, this whole part right here isn't just one solid piece, allowing this Magnum kit to also have blowback function. Also, the 3D material that's used to make these Magnum kits are a carbon fiber-based polymer. So this stuff is actually kind of tough and I was pretty impressed by how tough it was withstanding BBs on the field. But keep in mind, make sure you don't keep this Magnum kit in super hot weather, otherwise it will warp. So make sure you're maintaining and taking care of your Magnum kit. If you would like to get your own, make sure to go check out Foundry Airsoft's Etsy page or their website. Once again, thank you guys for watching my videos. If you have a sci-fi airsoft related product that you would like me to create a review video about, make sure to contact me through Facebook Messenger or Instagram. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Don't forget, this is Truly Combat Evolved. I'll see you guys next time.